just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags pretty fine, bitches. Filters call, got a pickup figures. Look at me, I'm a geek, tripping. Future waves, I will be copping. Come check me, you know I got it. Figure what? Small from legends, dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was do. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy, that was doing today. We're doing another action figure review today. We're looking at Hasbro's Marvel Legends series. Captain America, Civil War, Builder figure, Giant Man, Nick Fury figure. The package, as you can see again, standard window. Got the wave in the back. Picture of Fury in the in the back. Brief bio. Pause if you want to read them or read it anyway. When justice demands action, shield expert Nick Fury joins the charge against the bad guys. Love the image on the side of my man Fury. Inside, bing, bing, bing. And that's it. And I gotta say, this is a dope figure. A great opportunity to army build. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this figure. I'm going to try my best to army build it. I'm going to wait for my boy Walt Carroll. Maybe he'll get a hold of more of these figures and sell them loose for a decent price, as he always does. And what I'll do is I'll just scoop them up like that and army build them. Um, I honestly am going to keep this figure as a shield agent. And I'm going to place the Nick Fury head on the Marvel Legends old school 2-pack Nick Fury I got that has that face-off Punisher body mold. I like that figure better. In my honest opinion, even though the Bucky Cap mold does work. Or maybe if I can get my hands on a lot of these guys, maybe I will keep one as Nick Fury. I'm not too sure, but right now, my decision is to, to do it as an aim soldier. I mean, shield soldier. But the opportunities, and if we can army build, if you can army build this man, this the, 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 the possibilities are endless. This head doesn't fit perfect. You got to mod the hole, but it looks good on him. And I'll show you right here. Look at that. It looks good on him. Could you imagine that, yo? Make him look like a regular shield agent. But I'm going to leave it with the... I'm going to leave it with the shield soldier head. This is how I'm going to have him displayed. Hopefully, I can army build more. I do have three mandroids. I work trying to work on four and five right now. Um... And then, again, I might just get a bunch of these guys and then keep Nick Fury head on one of them. I'm not too sure. The Dirk Anger head, I'm not going to be using for this because I made a custom Dirk Anger right away. As soon as I got this wave, I started to get to work on that bad boy. Um, the reason why I did that is because I did not like the fact that they made him, they tried to, they gave us the head for this body mold when he never wears the the suit in the comic book or nothing like that. So I'm gonna he's gonna make an appearance down the line. Right now he won't. I don't wanna spoil it yet because I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of the way it turned out. I did use the Bucky Cap mold though to be honest with you. I wanted to scope the boots because he has some big boots but um I found a I found a decent replacement so I went that route and I went a different route paint scheme wise. I kept the 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 way the design looked but instead of going navy blue I chose a metallic blue that's all I'm gonna say about that I'm gonna show you guys when it's ready to go with but this is it right here nice little bucky cap mold figure all navy blue with plain white um I wish we had some nice blue detail like we see in the belt would have been okay but it's okay it's nothing nothing major nothing I can get mad about I can always fix that myself if I felt like it um, I don't like that we have, again, that gun holster with no removable gun, but we have this one, which is okay. I don't like that he didn't come with any other kind of gun, but I guess that's because of the heads he came with. And thankfully, again, I had enough of these Deadpool rifles laying around that I could give him one. But since I've decided to give him Nuke's gun, I'm going to just put this back in the, the weapons bin, cash, leave it out there, and I'll give him the Nuke weapon, the Nuke rifle, so... But that's what I like about this figure. This figure's cool. 
Uh, definitely the must get of the one of the other must gets of the line for the army builders out there. I just got into army building. Honestly, I got like four aim soldiers, uh, three mandroid bots. Again, working on four or five. I don't. I only have two hydra soldiers. I gotta get more of them, and I gotta definitely get more of these guys. Um, I missed out on the on the crees and the scrolls. So I got to get some of those guys. Unless I get the Chitauris, then I could, I could not worry about the scroll because that's why the Chitauri was made for anyway because of the movie licensing reasons. But other than that, this figure's cool. I like it. I like the, the classic shield blue. I wonder why they gave us... I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not mad, but I'm happy they gave us a, a white Nick Fury, but I wonder why, like, you know, because they've been giving us a bunch of black Nick Furies throughout the years. His articulation is cool. The hinge on the neck came mad loose, though. His head looks up a lot. Looks down. Side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders. Bicep swivels. Double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel in the hand, so it goes forward and back. He has a beautiful ab crunch. Waist swivel that the belt blocks very much. Uh, his legs go up like that. Upper thigh cut swivel. Double jointed knee. Boot swivel. Angle pivots forward. Back. He got a beautiful pivot. Now, again... If you got a bunch of head skulls like I do, you guys can go ham, bro. You guys can go ham on this. You can make the Captain Rogers look. Or you can just make him a general shield agent. You can use all the all the other Captain Rogers heads. Like the one from the three pack or the Return of Marvel Legend figure. Uh you can use the the T'Challa. You can make a black guy. Stuff like that. You can go all out, man. The the Army building opportunities are endless. You don't have to just go with this helmeted shield look, shield agent, shield agent look. So you can even put, I think, a close head would be dope. But yeah, you know what you gotta do. But again, I would do the Dirk Anger, put the Dirk Anger head. But like, again, I didn't see any images of him dressed up that way. So therefore, I didn't go that route. But I went this route, and I think you guys will love it. So without further ado, I give you Dirk Anger, Director of Hate. Get out of my way. <laughs> so there you go, in all his glory. I used the Bucky Cap, an actual Bucky Cap that I had laying around. I gave him the pouches from the Bucky Cap belt. With some missing gaps, cause I took the holster and knife holder out for my um my my red hood and uh my Grayson customs, my Jason Todd customs. Uh, so I kept that, and then I took a Drax belt and glued the buckle with the strap all around to serve as his belt. Painted everything. It's supposed to be like a beige tan color. But I went with a bronze. I made this holster out of a bunch of pieces. This is actually the Winter Soldier uh, thigh holster that has the throwing knives. If I had some shotgun shells, I would glue it on there and see what happens. And I made this from a Sharon Carter belt, the straps. And this is this gun holster is from the Sharon Carter also. Painted that. It actually moves. It's not glued on. See, it moves. Can move it. This is from Misty Knight, of course, because he has this. Kept the gun. Might paint it silver. Didn't get around to it yet. Just wanted to show this off. Um, the boots, that from the knees and the boots down, they are actually Star Lord movie figure um, lower legs. Um, the camera doesn't pick it up, but I actually painted the boots and the knees. And the shoulder pads, which I got from the Odin Wave, the Builder Figure Odin shoulder pads, they're pinned in with needles. And then I, I meant to drill, I didn't mean to drill the holes, but I couldn't stop it because it was such thin plastic. But I did. So I painted the shoulder pads and the, the legs a pearl white to give it some kind of distinction to metal. And I went with a flat white. For the for the for the legs and the bottom part of the torso, I like the metallic blue. I know I should have went navy, but I don't know. I just wanted them to be different from the shield agent 
like more flashier because he is crazy. So he has needle pins running through the shoulders to keep these in place. And what I like is they maintain the articulation. They don't block anything. You can even move them up even more. You see? And they still stay in place. So he's good. He's good to go. His articulation, same. Up, down, side, side. He has the ball joint in the shoulders. Bicep swivel, double joint in the elbows. He has a wrist swivel. And this hinge. He got a ab crunch. Beautiful ab crunch. Waist swivel. His legs go out that much. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. No boot swivel. And his ankle goes forward and back. And it pivots. So kept everything intact. I love it. I love the way this came out. Um, it might look a little clumpy in certain places because I had a lot of trouble with the white as the Bucky Cap is a dark color. But um, I'm happy with it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about my Dirk Anger. But that's the review. Hit the like button. If you're feeling it, leave a comment. Get out of here. Subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page. Follow my Instagram and Twitter. You already know. It's your boy Devil's Do. And I'm out. Shield. <clears throat>